，就要来庆祝《哈利波特》二十岁啦！欢迎回到我们的频道，没错，大家由此可见，弟妹又在玩 cosplay 了。说在 Harry Potter cosplay， 我们好像在频道里面做过不少次。记得之前阿弟有做过一次 Harry Potter 的 cosplay 吗？有人印象吗？那今天这一集要讨论我们最喜欢的 Harry Potter。那这一集呢，会是全英文的影片哦。所以如果你想要看到中英双字幕的话，可以去 Voice Tube 看。那我们会把链接放在下面的更多资讯里面。那如果你是想要待在 YouTube 上面看的话，不要忘记把 CC 字幕打开哦，才能看到全英文的字幕。I can't believe Harry Potter is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. One shot of British accent for you. Seriously, it feels like just a few years ago when the books and movies came out, and now it's really 20 years old. Imagine how many people Harry grew up with. So Harry Potter is 20 years old, which means that it came out when I was four. The first Harry Potter novel, which is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, came out back in June 1997, and its first movie back in 2001. Then the last Harry Potter series novel, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, came out in 2007, and the movie franchise ended in 2011. I've read all the seven novels except for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and seen all the eight movies. Just a heads up, this might be a really nerdy video for some of you. You guys get to watch as I unveil the. The fangirl side of me. <laughs> Just look at my cosplay. To be honest, I think that all eight Harry Potter movies is unique and awesome in each and every way. Each has a specific core story, and we all get to grow and learn and become stronger with the characters. There are a lot of famous quotes from the franchise, like Hagrid's "You're a wizard, Harry." To Snape's. Always, I wouldn't be able to cover all the quotes in this video, but I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite moments with Harry Potter. First off, my favorite character in Harry Potter would be Hermione Granger. Well, obviously, girl power. Woo! I know, of course, we all love the main characters, Harry, Ron, Hermione. They all have different personalities and strengths, so they will be able to help and support each other in times of distress. And lost hope, but Hermione Granger in the story, we got to see a female character that can be such an inspirational role model for all of us. She's confident, intelligent, brave, unyielding, strong, loyal, all the good stuff. As for my favorite scene, I'll have to say it's the Battle of Hogwarts. Same thing. I know there are more than a few notable scenes in Harry Potter, but in this particular scene, I would like to point something out. I read this online in an article immediately after I finished watching the last episode of Harry Potter. In the Battle of Hogwarts, there's this part where there are no dialogues, only background music, and we see the trio trying to make their way out of the school. First, they meet a giant creature with a club. Same thing happened back in the Philosopher's Stone with a troll in the toilet. Second, there are spiders coming at them, and the same thing happened back in the Chamber of Secrets with Harry and Ron at the spider cave. Third, they blast off a werewolf devouring a fellow schoolmate. Same thing back in the Prisoner of Azkaban, where Professor Lupin was the werewolf. Fourth. They are faced with loads of Dementors, and we see Dementors almost through all episodes after the third one. Fifth, we see the members of the Order of the Phoenix standing right behind them, helping. And the same thing back in the fifth episode: the members grouping together. Sixth, the trio arrives at the Shrieking Shrack and meet Severus Snape, who is the Half Blood Prince. You see how this scene is making a reference to all the previous Harry Potter series. During this short time, we see how much the trio have battled and defeated, how far they've come, and how much they've grown. It really thrills me to know that the last episode did pay some kind of homage to all the previous ones. It just felt so right and so meaningful. You know, everything is connected. My life is complete. Going down to my favorite spell, I think I'll go for Obliviate. This spell is a memory charm used to erase someone's memories. And the most famous scene for this is probably when Hermione used it on her parents, hoping to protect her Muggle parents from torture and death. She erased all memories of herself from her parents' mind. Obliviate. But it got me thinking. Is this spell irreversible? Does that mean the parents will never ever remember their daughter, even if they've defeated Voldemort? I mean, that's just so sad. 
So I hope that sometime after their victory, there's some way to undo the spell, and Hermione can be with her parents again. Oh, and a cool bonus! Did you know that Hermione's mother is also the Stark's mother in Game of Thrones? Winter is coming in three more days! I'm so excited for season seven! <laughs> Alright, coming back. Obliviate. <laughs> Obliviate. I would like to mention that I had the opportunity to visit the Harry Potter studio in London. It was a really magical place and you can relieve all your Harry- Sorry. STUPEFY! <laughs> no. It was a really magical place. You get to relive all your Harry Potter's dreams and fantasies there. If you'd like to see my tour of the Harry Potter studio, Accio video! Check it right here. Accio comb! <laughs> Go away, comb! <laughs> now I'd like to share some of the merchandise I bought from England. To be honest, I didn't really buy a lot of stuff because at that time I thought I don't want to be doing any impulsive buying, but I kind of regret it right now. I should have done it. First, it's this. What is this? It's a box. No, it's the Harry Potter magical wand! This is Harry's wand. Authentic. So yep, I've been holding this wand in my hand throughout the video. Next is the official guide from the making of Harry Potter studio tour. So basically, it shows you what you'll be seeing inside the studio tour in London. This guidebook gives you a lot of insight as to how the movie is made. I also bought my very own Gryffindor scar. And finally, Hogwarts acceptance letter. As you can see, it's addressed to Miss Crown Dew. So it's legit. I'm a Hogwarts student. I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard, Harry! <laughs> Finally, if you're a hardcore Harry Potter fan, you must know about a website named Pottermore. This is an official website set up by J.K. Rowling herself, where you can read tons of background stories about the wizarding world. At the same time, you get to take all these quizzes and see where the sorting hat will sort you to, what one you use, and what your Patronus is. The sorting hat sorted me to House Hufflepuff, which is where New Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them comes from. By the way, this is Newt's wand. Then my Patronus revealed to be a Deerhound, which is a kind of large dog originated from Scotland. My wand is a silver limewood wand with phoenix feather at its core. Harry's wand was also a phoenix feather one. <laughs>好了,以上就是我想要跟大家分享跟哈利波特有關的事情 在iTalki都可以让你开口练英文